morning guys Jordan here at Hoppy Sabbath Homestead I'm in the rabbit pen right now because uh, the babies are officially five weeks old and um, I have someone wanting to uh, buy a baby this Saturday so I have to start weeding them so I'm just gonna catch a couple like three or four probably and um, put them inside of the little pen area that I made. So I'm gonna flip you around and show you the babies, but I'm gonna have to catch them without the camera on because they're fast little babies. And there's Daisy, Gideon, and then Sunshine's right there. There's a baby. I don't know if the lady wants gray or brown, so I'm gonna catch a couple of each. Sometimes Sunshine just gets this wild hair in her butt and she chases everyone around. So she's being a little turd today. Alright, I got some of the babies. I think I got four, two brown, one gray, one silver. So they are gonna be weaned this week and then maybe in a couple days to let Gideon dry off a little bit easier. And don't stress anybody out, we're going to pull them in later, later this week. So, my worry is just that they will get out, they're, they're able to reach there, so hopefully they stay in. That would be nice. So it looks like we are going to be keeping this baby that's on top of the uh, red container. <clears throat> She's a girl. Gideon is getting older, so we figure this is her last litter. Might as well just keep one that looks just like her. Hey guys, so I thought I'd show you how I take care of flies around my house. And it's these uh, rescue disposable fly traps. I have used the ones that are like a plastic container and they're reusable they don't work for me so I just use this what you do is you just cut along the top here and then you fill it up with water to about here and I mean you'll have this thing full within about a week so when you when you cut them off I suggest having a wire or a string on it before you put the water in because it gets real heavy and like holding a bag of water full of stinky fly bait, not fun. Good morning on this lovely Sunday, uh, after, uh, maybe a little bit before noon, about noon. Um, it's so beautiful out today and I never get to be in my garden. So today I think I'm gonna be doing some pruning and tying up and all that good stuff. I should probably go get some string. Thanks for reminding me. All right, well, I'm gonna go get some string and then I'll set you guys up so you can see the garden and see how I cut things down and tie things up and all that good stuff. Hey there.
someone might die. So this is what happened from yesterday. There was a windstorm and this branch twisted down. So I'm gonna try to prop her back up here on the stake. Yeah, that was a pretty intense, uh, intense windstorm. The tomatoes on the trellises look good though. They didn't get real blown around. I just cut this back. The chickens actually will not eat that, so I don't know, but it's compost now. My potatoes are looking pretty pitiful, which I think means that the potatoes are almost ready. That's exciting. All right, so this right here is my, um, what is it called? Scallop scallop squash and I will tell you this scallop squash it just it's very prolific it's running everywhere throughout this bed and so I had to cut one piece down again I've been cutting little I don't know what they're called but um the vines they're going through the bed so I have to cut them down like every week that was one right there yeah right there I had to cut that back um, because I need this gray squash to be climbing up this uh, this trellis here. So that is my next task. Okay, y'all. So this right here supposedly was my purple tomatillo. Okay? Can you please tell me what the heck this is? Those look like eggplants to me. What in the world? So I have some tomatoes turning colors. Orange, I guess. Oh, these are the golden nuggets. These are the jelly bean tomatoes. And then these are the berry cherry tomatoes. See how purple they're getting. That's the golden nugget tomato. There's more blue or berry cherry tomatoes. There's another one. Don't know what that big guy is. And then there is one little one over there. And on this one, I have a few as well. We'll go around. Hey, Taxi Max. That's my acorn squash, or not acorn, uh, butternut squash, and then, don't know what these tomatoes are, and then there's some more tomatoes getting ripe, lots of tomatoes on that one, 
Then there's some more golden nugget tomatoes. They're so pretty. I'm excited. That one might be a beefsteak. It's pretty big. Um, this is the one I think is aroma. You can see the shape of them. And then this one I know for sure is a beefsteak. But it hasn't set any fruit yet, so I've been keeping an eye out. The blossoms have been blooming very nicely. No tomatoes yet. And then my beans. Let's open it from this way. You see all those beans in there? That's awesome. We're gonna dry them so we can uh, can our own pinto beans. Those are climbing up nicely. Then this monster right here, I believe it's a pumpkin. But it is uh, trying to take over this whole bed. I kind of try to tie it up on this um, tomato cage, but I think that just made it worse. So, you can see little bulb starting on the bottom of that blossom. So that's exciting. These are my eggplants. I'll show you an eggplant that's actually actually producing. There's a little eggplant. Oh, the blossom came off. Stop it, Tex. You're moving the camera. Oh my goodness. This dog is just so loving. He's just a good boy. Yes, I know. Tex just wants some love right now. I love it. Yes, I love the kisses too. Mm. No, don't bite. No, don't bite. Good boy kisses. No, don't bite. He is such a good boy. Look at that. Look at that belly. He's just so sweet. He's just so sweet. Okay. Back to the important stuff. Little eggplant. These pretty zinnias. Now, I do have an issue that I've been dealing with. And I, what are you doing, you goofball? You're not even supposed to be in there. An issue that I've been dealing with for. Oh, well, it's not here. Let's try in the middle of the bed. Where are they? They're always here. There's one. Texas! So these guys, I have a ton. Focus, focus. Eek! All right, I gotta put this guy down because he's freaking me out. Focus! Uh, ah! see him. Ew. He's a grabby bubby. So I just take them. See his little face. I just take them and focus. Throw them over to the chickens. That was a that was a very small snack. Well, that's a little tiny itty bitty tour of the garden. There's a little acorn or a little uh, scallop squash starting. That's fun. The chicken is from Sonic, but the broccoli leaves, kale, and Swiss chard and tomatoes is from my garden. I'm so pleased with my lunch today.